Hello, football fans. Get ready for another edition of your favorite sports segment, Off the Pitch. I'm Sean Dufresne, and it's time for your weekly football update. Brought to you by Hips Cab, where you want to go. We're starting with a powerful act of solidarity. Israel's football captain, Eli Dassa, displaying the shoe of an eight-year-old Nave Shoham, kidnapped by Hamas terrorists in cross-border attack on October 7th. Dasa aimed to draw awareness to the plight of Israelis held captive in Gaza. The poignant gesture came ahead of Israel's Euro 2024 qualifying match against Switzerland. Now, let's talk about the unexpected chaos at the Americana during the Brazil versus Argentina World Cup qualifier. The match faced a 30-minute delay due to clashes between fans and police. The brawl erupted during the playing of the national anthems, leading to Brazilian police charging Argentinian fans, and fans retaliated by ripping up seats, causing panic and injuries. Lionel Messi denouncing the violence led Argentina to a historic 1-0 victory. Speaking of Messi, teams across the MLS are capitalizing on the Messi effect once again, especially the Red Bulls, offering a holiday deal with merchandise and tickets to two games, but there's a catch. The schedule isn't out, and if Messi's Inter Miami is the Red Bull's home opener, ticket holders get the second game instead. Dynamic pricing is in play with teams charging significantly more for games against Messi and Inter Miami. It's a trend seen league-wide with MLS teams eyeing a prosperous 2024 with sold-out stadiums. Well, that concludes another episode of Off the Pitch. As always, we're live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on s &T. Stay connected with us on social media for exclusive content, updates, and more. A big thank you to our sponsor, Hips Cab, where you want to go. I'm Sean Dufresne. Until next time, Napoy Pita, Kimbe